for awliya, we call them karamat, honoring them. Karamat al awliya. For ordinary Muslims, true Muslims, sometimes miraculous things happen. We call them ma'una, assistance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides. This is, I'm talking here about miracles of various categories. We lived and we heard also living scholars in our time telling us miracles they witnessed. And we witnessed miracles. And I'm sure everyone around you may remember a miracle happening either to him or to someone else around him. Now, ordinary miracles, maybe someone telling you something or coming in the right time or you being saved from a car accident by something out of your hand or you telling the unseen at one point or we've heard miracles of the awliya. I'm sure you know a lot of miracles from Sheikh Nazim's life, rahimahullah ta'ala, and from his teachers, uh, especially from Sheikh Abdullah Daghestani, rahimahullah ta'ala, qaddasallahu arwahahum. And I have, I would say, countless miracles from my father's lifetime because I was with him every day, every night, every morning, every evening. And I was quite vigilant what, watching what, what's happening to the point that miracles became the norm of our life. We were so accustomed to see things happening in our life. But people don't understand sometimes that the awliya may have miracles in bringing someone dead into life. This is this type of miracles may happen at the hands of awliya. Imam al Subki, who is a great scholar of fiqh and usul, author of Jamal Jawami'a, Sharaf Jamal Jawami'a in usul, one of the largest or most important works in, in usul al fiqh, writes this amongst the top, this is the top of 30 various categories, uh, types of, uh, of karamat. I translate karama as non prophetic miracle. Karama is non-prophetic miracle. It's a miracle happening at the hand of other than prophets. Why do we need to understand and remember this? I want you to remember this because when Antichrist comes, we know in sound hadith, Antichrist will bring someone who is dead into life. If people don't understand that this may happen at the hand of human being, people would think he's God. That's why we need to remind people that no, Antichrist is not God. And when he does bring someone dead into life, we say this is, oh, this happened in the hands of the awliya. And we have stories from the awliya of Damascus who brought back people who were dead into life. By dua, by certain dua and certain dhikr they, they performed. It's a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Al-Isra' wal Mi'raj is a great miracle. Miracles are known to disrupt what we know is uh, al-ada, the customary practices or events, or you could express it now, disrupt the physiologic, the, the law of physics. Because in Islam, nothing in this world is absolutely happening as it is. So what is known as law of physics is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah may stop it at any time. Examples, the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam, he was put in fire, fire didn't burn him. Why? Because we believe fire does not burn by its nature. Fire burns only when Allah orders it and creates burning in it, the power of burning. The knife doesn't cut by its nature. The knife cuts only when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates the power of cutting in it and orders it to cut. It's the doctrine of Ahl-Sunnah wal Jama'ah is very important because we need to understand how does Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam travel through all of these uh, constellations and uh, all of these uh, stars and planets and, and you know the heat when you get in the solar system close to the sun the uh, heat is in millions of degrees in millions of degrees so no human being in normal cases would afford the, the the heat when you get closer and closer to the sun so how did rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam travel this distance law of physics stopped why because it is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created 
the events, the causes of the events, and the outcome of the events. When he wants to disrupt this, he does, subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why uh, the mu'jiza or the karama is khalqul ada, disruption of what we usually see. Usually, human beings are attached to the things happening to the point that they think it is absolute. Nothing is absolute. It is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his power. So this is the basic thing to start with. This is why Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala was called a Siddiq. You understand the story why he was called a Siddiq. The Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa tells him, I went to Al-Aqsa Mosque and so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. Before telling him so, the Prophet told the people of Quraysh, they came to him. Abu Bakr had no knowledge, hasn't come yet to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People of Quraysh thought, oh, this is the time now we could sway Abu Bakr. So they went to him. He used to visit Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Al-Ghada. This is after sunrise, an hour after sunrise or so. So they went to him quite early and told him, your man in sahibaka yaz'umu annahu dhahaba ila bayt al-maqdis fi laylat wa raja'a your man is claiming that he went to bayt al-maqdis on one night and returned the answer was not or oh, did he say so how was it tell me now from beginning no he didn't say any of these things the first statement he said in kana qala dhalika faqad sadaq if he said so he's telling the truth if he said so so he's telling the truth that is the case of a believer. We Muslims, brothers and sisters, whenever you hear something happening, you know, a story from an awli, one of the awliya, a story of a scholar, something you think is difficult to, to understand or to believe, don't rush to disbelieve. Say, it's possible, we believe. This is why Shaykh Al-Akbar Muhyiddin in Al-Arabi, in his marvelous book, Al-Futuhat Al-Makiyya, he narrates from Al-Imam Abu Yazid Al-Bistami. He says, if you meet someone who believes in the awliya, in everything, ask him for dua, his dua is answered. Because that's a trust. We don't rush to say, deny or question or, really? Truly? No, no, I can't believe it. It's impossible. No, no. Th these words, out of your dictionary.